really good y'all it's your girl Tangia and today's video is going to be a fashion try on haul we have two different companies today we have figure eight curve which is a boutique based out of Memphis and uh, look I believe it's based out of Memphis that's what the address said and then um GS loves me which is a pretty well-known plus size junior clothing online retailer um, so if you want to see what I got, just keep on watching. All right. So I really just want to start this video by saying I am so, so happy that we finally made it to 1K. Yay. We are finally at 1,000 subscribers. And you know what that means. When we reach goals, that means giveaways. So I will be doing a kind of like I'm doing like a my favorites giveaway. Um, I don't really know how I want to go about doing it yet, but I will post a video I said when I got to 1,000 follow followers, subscribers, that I was going to do like a get to know me video. Um, so I'm going to throw in some like quirky things that you probably don't know about me. Even if you follow me on Snapchat, that's pretty much my diary. I say everything on Snapchat. But do a video on that and I'll probably throw the giveaway in that video. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting me and subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and everything because it is a lot of hard work, but I do love to do it. I love to spill any information that I have, anything that I can give, any style tips, beauty tips, anything, everything. And I just want to thank you for finding my videos entertaining enough to subscribe. That really means a lot. So. All right, enough with the sap stuff, on to the fashion. So first we're going to start with Figure 8 Curve Boutique. This is a boutique that I am so happy to have the pleasure of working with um they i reached out to them because i was going to go on a trip well i did go on a trip to philadelphia my first blogger event with the curvy housewife i got to speak at a women's empowerment event and prior to that i was you know trying to dibble and dabble and reaching out to different boutiques and fashion retailers to see if you know I could possibly become something like a brand ambassador. So I reached out to Fashion Curve and coincidentally they were about to reach out to me. And so we have partnered up and they sent me a couple pieces, my first pieces from them to try out. I have not worn them yet, but they will be coming to the gram soon and my blog. We're going to do a whole blog post and everything. But I decided I wanted to show the pieces in this video first since I just had them ready to show. So I have two items from them. So. So y'all know my Instagram goes in color order. So the month of August color is red. So I'm so happy that they sent me this bodysuit. This is the first piece. It's a bodysuit or monokini as it said on their Instagram page. And of course I will link everything down below um, so you can see it. But it's just a string, ties around the neck, low plunging monokini with a normal panty and a snap closure um this is so freaking cute and you know me i'm just not the normal girl i'm of course i'm gonna when i wear i'm gonna tie it how they have it tied on the on their instagram but you know i gotta try some other ways to tie it crisscross applesauce you never know how i'm gonna style it but i'm excited to wear this because it definitely fits in my theme so it can definitely go on my instagram page right now i already got an outfit in mind if i can just find figure out the rest of the pieces within my closet i know what i want to wear with this but it is very well quality like the stitching the material it has like a um, a black lining um i want to say let me see what material it says this is okay so a portion of it is sewn up i just it has some spandex in it but this is in the size 2x um it fits i have tried it on already but of course i will put in a clip of me trying it on again it fits really well um so yeah i'm excited for this piece and i'm just have really been into the floral um if you sh have seen my touch with style pieces i have the blossoming bosom t-shirts of course, I pick out everything for there. So I've really been to, into floral lately. And I feel like this is, even though it's kind of summery, it's a good transitional piece because you can layer it with a jacket, with a kimono, and you can transition this piece into fall. It is super sexy. You can tie it. It ties around my neck. And it actually does. And it wraps around my waist two times. And y'all know I'm a hefty girl. So that's a good thing. So I'm so excited to wear this. So you'll be seeing that on the gram. And then the other item that I received from... And the other item that I received from Figure 8 Curve are, is this like maxi, it's like a skirt. 
it is a skirt, shorts and skirt. It's a maxi skirt. So it's like this magenta pink and it has shorts on the inside. This is not something I would normally pick out for myself, but I tried it on and it's so comfortable. And like, I looked on their Instagram to see how they styled it for with their model. And I said, oh, that's cute, that's cute, I could do that. And I already have a piece from this GS Loves Me, I'll talk about that in a second, GS Loves Me, um, order that I made that will go perfectly with that so I already have the outfit in mind I think I already know what shoes I want to wear with it as well so this will definitely be on my blog and I just want to show you those two pieces it's like a jersey knit it's really 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 stretchy and I'm telling you like when I say it's so comfortable like I would if it wasn't this cute if it wasn't like a leave the house type of piece I could lounge in this but I jersey knit is like my favorite material anyway just because it has so much stretch it's so breathable I just love it. So, those are the two pieces from Figure 8 Curve Boutique. I am just so thankful that they allowed me to partner with them and send some pieces so I can, you know, rock them and show you guys how it gets down because I know I have a lot of plus size fashionistas that look for different boutiques that they want affordable clothing. Their clothing is very affordable. Um, everything that I was looking at on their Instagram page is like, the highest I think I saw was like 32. They might have some jackets on there that are a little more, a little higher priced, but everything was very reasonably priced, especially for plus size clothing because you, clothing, because you know, the bigger the clothes, the more material, the more it costs, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But their clothing is very affordably priced. And I didn't say the size, but these are in a size 1X and they fit me perfectly, as you will see on one of these sides of the screen probably this side of the screen. So that is all from figure eight curve. Now to move on to GS Loves Me. So with GS Loves Me, we're gonna start with the bad first because number one, let me just talk about them for a second. So I've, in May was my first time ordering from them. I followed them on Instagram for a while. I just never, I never ordered anything. But in May, um, well, March, I was invited by Tony, the owner of the Curvy Housewife blog, um, to come to Philly and speak at an event. And it was like, it's called, it was called the Marry Me Tea Party. So I was thinking floral, cute, da 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 da, da. So that was my first time ordering for them. The shipping was really quick. Um, they have some weird shipping options when I did order it. I had bought the dress so far in advance. It didn't really... Um, matter to me how long the shipping took so the shipping that I chose was between 13 and 15 days for four dollars and 35 cents I didn't need the dress till the end of July so that didn't bother me at all but the dress came in like a week so I was very surprised and happy that I only paid four dollars for shipping and it only took a week to come to me but the issue was that the dress online which I'll insert a picture of that it looked like it had shorts because you know I'm going to be speaking I don't want the whole look, like, I'm a, I, my vibe is so sexy, like, my style is very sexy, I love sexy, but you know, if you're going to a speaking event, you gotta sort it down a little bit, so the dress that I had picked out, it was shorts, or so the picture looked like shorts, so I'm like, high shorts, but still shorts, I got the dress, and it looked like a bodysuit, it was cut, it was literally cut into, like, underwear, a bodysuit, not shorts at all, and the slits were so high, it was just too much so I'll insert both of those pictures the picture online the picture of me trying it on because you know when you get your clothes you send it to your friends like girl they tried it so um, I have that picture and then I actually have my seamstress here um short in the skirt because I'm only five foot three so this the dress skirt portion of the dress was very long so I had her bring that up and I actually had her bring the slits in because either way it went I don't think I would have worn that out as high as the slits were it just wasn't I just didn't think it was it looked more like a swimsuit and a cover-up shawl than a dress so I had her um hem the slits so it looks a lot better so you will see that oh let me just show you the dress while I'm just standing here talking about it but that's not even the bad that's not even where I wanted to start it but we're here now so this is the dress I can get it off the hanger. Probably just tangled it up some more. Cool. So, this is the dress. It is a ivory rose floral print. 
print maxi dress super 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 long and it's so 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 pretty like look at this print I love and I just thought that would have been perfect for a tea party theme you know so this is where my issue was let me if I can even show you so you see where it's hemmed now it went all the way up to this waistband that's where the slits went they went all the way up to where this waistband was which I thought I mean to each his own and you see I have not worn the dress yet but to each his own um, I just didn't feel like it made sense when you can pretty you can see the print through the back of the skirt so it really looks more like a swimsuit and a cover of how the slits were it looked like this was supposed to like just tie around your waist rather than it be a dress so we had her sew the seams up a little it's still a very high sexy slit um, it goes off the shoulder and it's really comfortable I don't know what material this is not jersey knit but it's a really soft material I don't know where the wash tag is oh there it is it's a polyester spandex blend so very comfortable very cute so that was my only issue with that the item really it wasn't exactly how it was pictured online because online like I said it was pictured as shorts which I would have felt more comfortable with speaking in front of my audience in but when I got it it was it's literally cut like a bodysuit like where's where's some shorts someone let me know where's way not anywhere so that is that and this one it was it was $44.99 um I don't think I got any discount off of this but let me talk about that so before we get into the rest of these clothes this this um purchase was separate from the rest of the items so things that I do not like about GS loves me their return exchange policy is the dumbest thing ever so number one, like with most companies, if you have, if you can do like a return exchange or whatever, they just send a slip in the box with your clothes so you can fill it out, send the clothes back, and they do what they need to do. With GS Loves Me, you have to call them and get something called an RMA number because I'm sending some items back, but I wanted to show you before I sent them, sent them back. So you have to get an RMA number and you have to write that on the top of your invoice that they sent you and you have to pay for the shipping to go back. Okay, I had to sit on the phone for like 15 minutes and wait for a customer service representative to actually get on the phone with me because you can't, I emailed them, nobody emailed me, you only have so many days that you can request the RMA, I think it's like five, and then they finally got on the phone and gave me the RMA number and they're like, you only have three days to ship it out to us, and I'm like, okay, I was like, well, I really just wanted to do an exchange, she's like, oh, we don't do exchanges, all right, bro, whatever, just run me my money. So those were kind of annoying to me. I really just feel like they should just have a slip that is also included with your order that you can fill out and write in the, go on their website, shop, whatever you want to do, and write in the style number of the item that you would like to exchange it for or check a box and say you want a refund, store credit, whatever the case is, whatever their return policy is because like online it says it's a store credit, but when I was on the phone, she said she's going to give it back to my card. I'll take my money. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to ask twice. I was ready to do an exchange but give me my money I'm fine with it so yeah um so yeah that was really annoying to me as a shopper if I want to exchange it I should be able to change it she's like we don't do exchanges so why on there do you say exchange only they need to get their website together that was kind of annoying and sitting on the phone that long to get an RMA number when you say on your invoice that you can email for it you say on your website you can email for it I emailed Never got anything. I only have five days to do this. So if I would have been past the five days, what was going to happen? We would have had an altercation on the phone. Nobody has time for that. So they need to come up with a better return exchange policy procedure, in my opinion. So another thing that irritated me, we're going to move on to my this bigger order. But we're going to start with these shoes. So number one. Order some sandals that were on sale. I'm like, okay, it's a deal. Wait, pause on that too. So I ordered the sandals. When I was making this order, they had 30% off of all of their sale items. So you would think that you would just, if you purchase, put a sale item in your cart, it's going to automatically take the 30% off. No, 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 no. 
you're not going to get 30% off if you use another coupon. You're either going to get 30% off your one or two sale items or you get use somebody's coupon code, which is what I did. I went on their website. They had posted a picture of one of their model, models that's on the website. I went to her page. She had a coupon code. I used her coupon code. Um, but you can't get both. Like, if you're going to say all your sale items are 30% off, you should just have all your sale items 30% off. It shouldn't need a code if that's what you're running at the time. And then, like, if I have these other full price items, which everything else was full price, I should be able to get my 20% off of them for using somebody's coupon code. I think they need to fix that, too. But another issue I have with them is I got these sandals on sale, right? I ordered an eight and a half, right? Look at the box. Is it focus? What that box say? That box say eight and a half, right? Right. Get the shoe. What that shoe say? I don't even know if you can see it, but it's a seven and a half. So wrong. Wrong number one. Look at the other shoe. What am I gonna do with that, bruh? I'm, you know. I could be a scammer. I really could. I could get it off. But the principle is to not have a whole sensor that you shipped from L.A. to St. Louis still on the shoe. That's irritating. So that being said, I had when I called customer service to do this return exchange that I'm trying to do, they're only giving me a pre shipping label to ship it back free for their mess up for this for this. Like I'm like, I can't just put everything in the same box. No, you're responsible for the shipping on the other items irritating like bro like if you really want i really i really 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 could fold up what i'm sitting back and put everything in this one little shoe box i really could but you know what we're gonna abide by the rules and you know it's a lesson learned so another irritating thing so you messed up the shoe size you left the center on i can only get free shipping on the item that you messed up on even though it's all going back, so you really should just let me ship it back for you. But whatever. Whatever. But other than that, everything else is pretty good. We're going to move on to the good stuff. We're already 20 minutes in. <laughs> Yay. So we're going to start with the items that did not fit. Well, only one item really didn't fit. The other one I just, I didn't wear it on my trip, so I'm just going to send it back. Um, is this super cute. I was so sad it didn't fit. This super cute crochet romper like look at this look at the detail in this it was $33 everything I'm gonna save the like retail price but I got everything 20% off because I used the models coupon code so super cute super cute super cute the bodice has a lining in it to cover you up um it was too small it was just too small. That rump was not going. This zipper zipper went nowhere. <laughs> so you won't be seeing uh, um, a clip of this try on because my ass would be out. <laughs> we can have that. But it is super cute. I really wanted it to fit. Um, I think they only had a 1X left. That's why I got it. Or maybe I, I just thought I was skinnier than I was. Um, because it doesn't have any stretch because it's crochet. Like, no stretch, none. I probably should have done... Honestly, the way this zipper was looking on my butt, I probably should have done like a 3X. Not that I, I ever wear a 3X in anything else, but with this material and how it has absolutely no stretch, I probably should have done a 3X. So, sending this one back, super cute though, has a zipper closure. And it was slick short too though, so I don't know either, either way if I really would have liked that. Like, I like short coochie coochie mama stuff, but all up in it's too hot for all that like <laughs> i can't so that's that and then the next thing that i'm sending back is also a romper and this one was cute i really didn't have an issue with it um i probably would like it to fit a little looser but it wasn't like annoyingly tight the only reason the main reason i'm sending it back is because i bought it for my trip went on my trip didn't wear it so <clears throat> it's an orange off the shoulder ruffle romper it has pockets I love pockets for because I literally always have my phone on me and I just love it so shorts and these are actually really good length short they are not too short they're not all up in your cooch um, you can breathe it's a really stretchy material um, felt good and this is in a 1x and it was $24.99 again 20% off so 
main reason I just don't see myself really wearing it. Like, I already did orange for the gram. It won't come around again until probably next year because I have my colors for the rest of the year. And um, I just don't see myself wearing it anywhere. So, sending it back. And like I said, it I really it could have fit a little looser. But I don't think I would have liked how loose a 2X fit. So, yeah. Moving on. Next, we'll talk about this item that I just did a little touch with styling too. It was, this was one piece, right? This was the shirt. It was just a long shirt. But me, I have no torso. So I bought this to wear as my um, speaking attire for the women empowerment event in Philly, right? I put it on and it just, it wasn't doing anything with me with the Palazzo pants I had it with. Like the shirt, it was, you know, just imagine this being on the bottom. This is how long the shirt was. And me not having a torso, that's just, it just wasn't doing anything. Like I tucked it in, it didn't look right. Of course, I'm not about to leave it out. It didn't look right. So I'm like, bro, chop it. Chop it and make this into a crop top. So this is like a low, not a high crop top. It's a low crop top. And you know, you put your bra on, bosoms pull everything up. So it's a really cute crop top. So we have a crop now and we have a band up. And this is what I want to wear with those, the figure eight curve skirt, maxi skirt thing. I'm going to wear it with this because you see this magenta color. I think that's going to bang. I think it's going to be so cute. So yeah, I just did some touch with style to it. Cut it up, gave it a new hem, and the outfit was so cute. I'll insert a picture. Um, but yeah, so this was one item. Um, it wasn't long enough to be a dress. It would have been a really, really cute dress if I didn't have a butt. It probably would have been banging. If it was like a, a bigger girl, a plus size girl that didn't have a butt, this would have been a bomb dress because it, it really could have hit. That thing back there was just protruding and lifting everything up. So it was a no. It was a no. But yeah. So now we got two pieces. For one. <laughs> Mesh embroidered top. It was just a regular regular mesh top with satin lining on the collar and on the sleeves. And of course, the embroidery was a little more free flowing at the top and then it got a little more condensed and heavy at the bottom which I think is perfect for what I did with it because now it makes like the perfect top because you know it's not if it was spread out at the bottom it, I don't think it would have been as much of an impact piece as it is now or can be so yeah happy with this purchase even though I cut it up and it's not even the same thing that's on the website but there's an idea for it. if you want to get this top you know wear it one time because I just think I'm a celebrity and I can't wear things uh more than once I don't know who I am whose means I'm living by but I really think I'm a celebrity and I can only wear things one time <laughs> if I took a picture it's over with so I mean I wear it I just want to take a picture of it but now we got two pieces for the price of one mm -hmm. so we could just have this simple black short romper is this a romper I guess leotard whatever you want to call it you know usually have the long ones I have long ones but it's a spaghetti strap scoop neck leotard simple black only thing i do not like about this it may be too small for me is why it looks like this but it's kind of sheer um nope you can't see it there so it's probably just too small for me but i'm gonna wear it anyway um but yeah it's kind of sheer when i put it on because you know the girls and the thighs and everybody just be stretching stuff out but i do like the way it fits so yeah simple cotton took the tag off and this was $13.99. So, yep, simple, really very versatile piece. Um, very good transitional piece. You can know, um, good for summer because it's so thin, lightweight. You can layer it in the fall, winter, tie a flannel around your waist, wear some combats, wear some knee highs, make it sexy, make it casual, put a snap back on, put some jewelry on, dress it up, dress it down. It's, I just thought it was a really good, simplistic piece that you can do a whole bunch with. So that's why I got that. And next we have this, which is probably my favorite thing that I purchased. It's a army fatigue dress and it just explains me so, so well. Kind of classy, kind of hood. That's just, 
so me and it's like they got the camo print for the hood and then they got the jewel going down the back for the classy and i just thought this was so cute i wore this all around philly it's so comfortable and i got this in a 2x because i did want it to be a little bit looser i didn't want it to be super super fitted even though it is super fitted and girl when i say i love this dress and it had that ass <laughs> look it's so round and perfect because like look pause flag on the play folks really think i have a butt I do not have a big butt. I have a wide butt. And I have large thighs. So it creates the illusion that I got a fatty. I don't. But this dress had your girl badonkey on. But bam. It was just. Whoosh. Whoosh. It was just. Girl, I just felt so free. It just dress it just feels so good. It's so comfortable. So casual. I just. Love it. And this little gold detailing in the back. Like, it was just lit. Like, this... Sh it was just lit. I'm really tempted to order another one similar to this. Because I think they have one. It says something about 91. And I'm always... I was born in 91. So, I be trying to find stuff. So, freaking love this dress. And it came, like, right above my knee. And when I tell you... I just was just so amazed. When I looked in the mirror, I said, girl... Where you get where you get that from? Where'd you get it from? This dress girl. So yeah. It's lit. And everybody was asking me about it. Now you know, because it's Tan Band Super Short Show. Man. Last thing. Oh, I lied. Not the last thing. We're gonna go to shoes after this. I completely forgot about those. So these are the Palazzo pants that I wore with my Touched with Style gs by gs loves me <laughs> crop top they're blush palazzo pants they're really comfortable really stretchy they're in a 1x yep 1x and when i put my heels on they're like the perfect length otherwise they drag on the floor because again i am a shorty so short so short but i wore them high-waisted like right up here and then my shirt came and it was kind of like flowing over because my bosoms are just big and lift everything up so it was a really cute outfit. I'll insert a picture, like I said, and I'll show you how these fit by themselves. So, yeah, super comfy, super cute. Last, we have shoes. You know you can't always get a fresh pair of J's, so I've really been into metallics. Like, this is probably my second pair of rose gold shoes. But they're just, you know, like, I don't know, textured, whatever you want to call this, metallic-y. Like, tennis shoes are so cute, comfy, easy to slide on, slide off, run around the town, and get down. So, yeah, and these are in a size 9, um, and they were $24.99. I can do that for a pair of shoes. It's all right with me. Yeah, so we got those. Nothing too much to say about them. Like I said, cute, comfy, get down. Next, we got our fake Yeezys, our wannabe Yeezys. Um, again, super comfortable, super cute. Um, got a neutral color, something a color that I don't have already in any pair of tennis shoes. Really, I barely have nude shoes, so we got the wannabe Yeezys. Um, yeah, I wore these with that. They make that ass fat dress, the <laughs> kind of hoodie, kind of kind of hood, kind of classy dress. And these were fifteen ninety nine, even better, chic knit sneakers, super comfy. Again, easy to slide on, easy to slide off. They have some weight to them. Um, not that you can feel it when you have them on, but these are definitely heavier than those metallic ones. Um, I really like them. Neutral color go with a lot of things. Last pair of shoes was a pair of heels. And you know, for my fat girl heel hacks, I honestly don't even buy skinny heeled heels anymore. Like, for what? So I can sit down? Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I only get the chunky heels. So that's what we got. We got some single sole with the pearl, like, these shoes are lit. When I had them on my whole denim outfit, girl, I, I was just slaying life. Like, with my denim on denim on denim. With my pearl, pop a pearl. Like, yeah. So, I only do the thick heels now. I really don't even bother looking at skinny heels. Like, they're cute to look at or whatever. But I know I'm not going to go anywhere. Like, they're just not comfortable for any amount of time. I literally put them on, look in the mirror, and be like, my feet hurt. I don't even do it to myself anymore. It's not even... For what? I don't like having shoes. Like, I'll wear shoes multiple times. Clothes, 
I'm a celebrity, I'm only going to wear it one time. Shoes, I will wear the mugs again. And I will not wear skinny heel shoes any. Like, I just, I don't, I won't. I have one comfy pair, that's from Charlotte Russe. And them things about dead, I was looking at them today. They about dead, they, it's about time to go. So, yeah, these are also in a size 9. Yep. Size 9. And it's a denim material with pearl and like a little bead. A pewter schmidt bead at the end of them. They're really cute and they're actually pretty comfortable. Um, they're not too high so you don't have a huge arch and again you have way more support with this black heel. They were $34.99, 20% off. So I also, oh I almost forgot, I got a pair of glasses. I don't know where they're at. This is why I really don't buy sunglasses because I'm great for losing them. Yeah. They're really cute. They're like retro. They're really big. I'll probably have a picture of them because I wore them somewhere, but I lost them. And then I got just like a plain little black bandeau top. It was really just to go under the mesh shirt if I would have wore the bandeau to the event. Um, but yeah, it was like a little plain just bandeau. Nothing too serious. But um, yeah, so that is my GS Love Me and Figure 8 Curve haul. I purchased all of the items myself from GS Loves Me and the items from figure a curve were sent to me for slaying purposes so yeah i hope you enjoyed this haul and i will see y'all in my next video stay true